Hello and welcome to module 7.1, how to get started with email marketing. In this module, you'll discover what you need to get started with your email marketing campaigns. Now there's some tools that you'll need to get started, but I'll leave links to each individual resource below the training video so you can get them very easily. So I'm really excited to show you this. So without further ado, let's dive into the content. So in this module, you'll discover the three tools needed for successful email campaigns the five emails you'll need to be sending your potential customers when they first subscribe to your email list, and also the fundamentals of autoresponders and opt-in forms. So let's look at the tools of the trade. So you're gonna need some tools to get started with your email marketing. So you won't be using things like Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo, um, because using a, your own branded email address instead of those free services also makes you look more professional and gives your brand more credibility. But in addition to that, it's also gonna make your life a lot easier in the long run when it comes to managing and tracking the success of your email marketing campaigns. Now, if you're currently sending mass emails to your clients and prospects manually by inserting email addresses in the blind copy tab, you know, the BCC tab, you can work more efficiently, much more efficiently, by using what's called an email service provider. So you're probably familiar with things like MailChimp or Aweber, those are email service providers. And you're gonna use those to broadcast your emails to a large group of people simultaneously without having to do the work manually. So when you're first getting started with email marketing, you're gonna need these three essential tools. Now the first one is an autoresponder, which I've just mentioned. So it's an autoresponder slash email marketing platform. Um, you're gonna use an email opt-in form for your website, such as Sumomi, Bloom, or layered pop-ups. That's to collect the email addresses. And thirdly, you're gonna use a landing page creator so you can create dedicated custom pages for specific campaigns. Now, ideally, you want to access all three of those tools, but you can get away with just using the first two, especially if you're just getting started. Now, if you know a little about email marketing already and you wanna take your email marketing to the next level, then landing pages are the way forward. Now let's look at setting up the foundation of your email marketing. So we talked about autoresponders. This is a key tool. Now when it comes to sending out mass emails, autoresponder software has allowed business owners like you and I to take email communication to a new level. An autoresponder is a feature within the email marketing software. So within Aweber or MailChimp, or there are lots of others like Get Response and Constant Contact, just for example. Now those email marketing software providers allow you to upload pre-written emails that are sent out in an ordered sequence to your subscribers. So you write the emails, you load it up, and then it sends out those emails for you automatically. Now you can set up the autoresponder to do that for you at specific times of the day, and also set specific intervals between those messages. So let's talk about broadcasts. You can push a button and make sales with email broadcasts. So you push a button and you can send an email to multiple people on your list all in one go. You can share time sensitive content with your audience in real time, send quick promos to your customers and um, broadcasts are basically like group messages on steroids. Now the great thing about all of this is that you can track everything on, that your subscribers are doing. For example, how many of them are opening your emails, who exactly have opened your emails already, and who has clicked on specific links inside the emails, for example. And with that info, you can really fine tune your campaigns and market your business intelligently. So you've probably heard of tools like Aweber or MailChimp, which I've mentioned already. Now these are just two of the email marketing service providers out there right now that are helping business owners generate millions in revenue through carefully planned email marketing campaigns. Now when you set these up correctly, you can build one of the most valuable assets your business can have, and that's your email list. So let's go into choosing and setting up your email service provider. So the first thing, if you haven't done this already, is to create an account with an email marketing provider. It could be any one of your choosing, but I prefer Aweber, that's what I use at the moment after switching from MailChimp, because it has more flexibility for the price and more of the features that I like, such as the uh, automation and tagging. Um, for that reason, most of the tutorial examples I show inside of Cakebox Academy will be inside Aweber, but the theory is completely applicable to any service provider, so it doesn't really matter which one you get, but I do prefer Aweber. Let's look at a, a little comparison side by side. MailChimp, I'd say, is generally more for beginners. Aweber has more some more advanced features in terms of what you can do with the data, 
in terms of what you can do with segmentation etc um, which means you can split the emails that you send between people inside your email list so for example you can group people according to what they've clicked on previously or whether they're already customers or whether they're prospects so for example you can send emails to people who have already become customers and not show those same emails to people who haven't yet become customers and vice versa so that's what segmentation is and you could do that a lot easier in inside Aweber. Now there'll be links below for you to get started with each and you'll also uh, get a free trial with those services. So the entry level MailChimp account starts from zero. You can start that for free, going up to $25 if you want the automation features. Um, if you wanna go with Aweber, it starts at $19 per month, but you do get a 30 day trial. So you can try it out for a whole month before you decide if it's for you or not. So if you don't have an email service provider right now, you can pause the video right now and sign up to an account so you can follow along. So let's move on to creating your list. Once you've created an account, you'll want to create your first list. And uh, let's look at how you can do that with MailChimp. So with MailChimp, to create a list in your MailChimp account, just follow these simple steps. So firstly, choose the list from your MailChimp dashboard and then click the create a list button on the upper right hand corner. On the list details page, you can choose a name for the list, set the default from name and email address, write a short permission reminder to remind your subscribers how and why they're receiving the email from you. When you're finished, click save. Now the built-in sign-up forms you get with Aweber and MailChimp are okay, but if you want really delicious, then I recommend you use a custom opt-in form on the website to collect new email addresses and leads. So, so let's look at creating your list. Um, if you're using MailChimp, the first thing you do is number one, choose the list from your MailChimp dashboard and then click the create a list button on the upper right hand corner. Secondly, on the list details page, you can choose a name for the list, set the default from name and the email address and write a short permission reminder just to remind your subscribers how they actually uh, joined your list and why they're actually receiving emails from you. So that's really important that you um, let them know in that tab why they're getting emails from you and how they actually signed up because sometimes people forget so um, and they can report you as spam. So if you do that, you, you'll be covered. So once you've done that, just click save. And let's jump over to Aweber. So if you're on Aweber, all you need to do is while you're logged into your account, simply click manage list, click on create a list and complete your details so you can comply with the can spam laws. Then click next step, name your list, then approve your confirmation message. Once you've done all that, then you can be, uh, you can make sure you create a sign up form for your list. Now the built-in sign-up forms you get with Aweber and MailChimp are okay, but if you want Delicious, then I suggest you use a custom opt-in form for your website. So what is an opt-in form? An opt-in form is an electronic form on your website that collects customer details such as name, address, email address and phone number. Typically this is in the form of an embedded box on the sidebar of a website, a pop-up or a dedicated landing page. Opt-in boxes make your email sign-up experience better for your customers. They're more visually appealing, especially with plugins such as layered pop-ups. They give your site a more professional look and feel and gives you the automation you need to generate leads for your business even while you sleep. So let's look at landing pages. If you want the ability to create a dedicated landing page for each campaign that draws people to your email list, Investing in a landing page creator will help you achieve your objectives quickly and effectively. This gives you the most custom look and feel and gives you the ability to test different variations of opt-in forms to see which ones convert into leads the best. I talk about landing pages in much more detail in a separate module, but once you've created your sign-up forms and you've connected them to your landing pages, you'll have your very own automated sales funnel, which is really important. And that will help you grow your audience, build relationships, and um, it will also help you generate sales for your business all on autopilot. So that's something that you should definitely think about doing. Let's talk about mobile apps to help you grow your email list offline. So both MailChimp and Aweber have mobile apps you can use to collect names and email addresses in store and 
and at events to get people opting in there and then in person so as soon as they enter their email address they'll receive a welcome email which you could have already set up and that's part of the autoresponder sequence that you've created um, asking them to confirm that they want to receive email updates from you now once they've confirmed their opt-in you now have them as a subscriber um, and now you can build a solid relationship with them and market your business to them now there are many tactics you can use to grow your list which i'll go into in more detail in the list building module but the main thing to remember is that you should be looking to add to your list at every single opportunity atom is an electronic sign up form in the form of a free mobile app and this is um created by aweber so if you're an aweber subscriber if you have that um if you subscribe to aweber then you have access to this free app so that you can build your list out and about at events at shows or even in your shop on your shop premises there and then um, all you do is open the app on your phone or tablet and present it to whoever you're inviting to sign up and they can then enter their details there and then to be added to your email list in real time so let's say for example you're a personal trainer and you want to get your clients onto your email list to let them know about uh, forthcoming boot camps or um, personal training packages or offers that you might be having in the future all you do is just hand them your phone and tell them to put in their name and email address so they can sign up for um, your email list so you can give them nutrition tips you can give them training tips you can let them know about uh, uh, boot camps um, um, training gear that kind of stuff so make make the content really valuable and that's how you you engage people and get them to know like and trust you so that's a very powerful app that you can use to build your lists highly recommend it let's move on to the automated sales funnel so this is the automated sales funnel and um, this is something that you really need to have set up um, as long as you're running any kind of business that is on the internet now new leads will come from opt-in boxes on your website or when you get permission from your subscriber to add them manually so for example what i've just spoken about uh, a few slides back about adding them to your um, email list with the app so as long as you've got permission they become a new lead secondly the follow-up emails provide valuable content and information so this is your follow-up sequence so in that sequence you'll have uh, a set of emails that are designed to inspire entertain and educate so those follow-up emails will hopefully take your customer closer to creating a to to making a sale or following your call to action whichever that might be and which leads to conversion so your customer buys your product schedules an appointment or attends your event that's a conversion and that happens within the follow-up sequence so here's how it works so let's look at an example of your email marketing in action and what it can actually do for your sales funnel so someone sees your content online so it could be a blog or a video you share it on social media now you've got a new website visitor so they've looked at your content now and then you have a call to action for them to subscribe to your email list so they see that on your opt-in form they enter their details through through that opt-in form and they've now joined your list now they get sent the follow-up sequence customer purchases you're happy they're happy see how that works so that that can all happen behind the scenes using your automated sales funnel thanks to your email marketing um your your setup of the email but thanks to your thanks to the setup of your email marketing so that's how it works and just to review using an email marketing service such as aweber or mailchimp will allow you to build an audience that you can scale tap into traffic on demand and grow your business using an opt-in form plugin on your website or creating a landing page for your campaign is the best way to get new subscribers onto your list uh, don't forget you can use the atom app as well or if you're using mailchimp they, they have their own separate app you can build your email list offline with those apps on mobile and tablets and you can add people manually as well inside the email service provider as long as you have their explicit permission you've successfully completed module 7.1
and you should now be clear on why email marketing is a smart investment of your time and energy and i encourage you to take action on all the forthcoming modules to get your email marketing campaign started and in the next module i'll be going through some practical steps on uh how you can actually start growing your list so i look forward to see you on the inside take care and bye for now